at topsecretwriters.com is a story by Ryan entitled Top Three CERN Conspiracy Theories You Won't Believe. And Ryan begins, maybe you are already a CERN conspiracy theorist, or maybe you've never heard of CERN. Either way, you may be very surprised and shocked by at least a few of the CERN conspiracy theories below. CERN is a massive particle physics laboratory located in Geneva, on the border of France and Switzerland. The name stands for Conseil European Polar Research Nucléaire, or something like that. The stated goal of the laboratory, as published on the organization's website, is to probe the fundamental structure of the universe. It's a probing that has countless conspiracy theorists around the world very concerned. The lab is famous for housing the Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest particle accelerator, measuring a mass of 27 kilometers. The accelerator's purpose is to collide subatomic particles at nearly the speed of light. At such a high velocity, these collisions create a variety of other particles that other instruments known as detectors identify and measure. The process is meant to reveal to scientists what potentially unknown particles make up the very essence of all matter. However, both conspiracy theorists and even some mainstream observers have some concerns that scientists may not fully understand the ramifications of what they are doing. There are some who believe that the unintended or intended effect of colliding subatomic particles at the speed of light is to literally open up the gates of hell. Welcome Takahama Olsen too. Why would, any, why would anyone think such a thing? For one thing, scientists at CERN have openly admitted they're attempting to create antimatter. What is antimatter? It is subatomic particles that have the reverse electrical charge than normal subatomic particles. Advocates of the Big Bang Theory believe that antimatter was created along with everything else during the formation of the universe. But unlike matter, antimatter is very rare. In 2016, CERN finally managed to use a laser to create atoms of antimatter out of hydrogen, which they were able to maintain in existence long enough to study very briefly. It was a big discovery. Immediately, many Christian observers accused the scientists of trying to open a portal to hell. One publication known as Christian Truther published an article stating that antimatter would be demo a demonically charged particle, retrieved from the pit, bringing with it chaos and destruction. Many conspiracy theorists also point to the very weird opening ceremony of the Goddard Tunnel as evidence of certain satanic roots. Conspiracy theory number one, the Mandela effect. In short, this is a phenomenon where many people remember an event from the past occurring differently. <laughs> occurring differently than it actually occurred in our present timeline. And they remember the same event. It's called the Mandela Effect. Because there are so many people who believe Nelson Mandela died in jail in the 1980s, when in fact he didn't. Countless people also swear that the Berenstain Bears book series was actually called the Berenstain Bears. What does this have to do with CERN? Well, there are some who believe that CERN particle experiments are causing shifts in reality, pushing the entire world into an alternate dimension. People who are old enough to remember the old reality as it happened, remember it. But kids who are too young to have lived through it 
learn the new reality from the books and media they read. It sounds far-fetched, but then again, so does the idea of subatomic particles. Conspiracy number, number two. I have two number conspiracy number ones here. Conspiracy number one. Conspiracy number one. Is the next one number one? And I, they said they were going to do three. <laughs> well, this is number two by my count. Also in 2016, a video showed up on the internet. By the way, there's fireworks going on in the neighborhood, in this raucous neighborhood. You may hear them going on outside. Also in 2016, a video showed up on the web that appeared to show an occult ritual taking place in front of the CERN complex, inside the grounds in front of their statue of the Hindu deity Shiva. The person filming the video appeared to have turned on the camera to film strange movement in the shadows. Can you guys see those fireworks? Yeah, they're going all out. To his surprise, several cloaked figures walked into the spotlights near the statue. I, don't, I know that's not very loud out to you guys. Welcome to uh, Jay Mallet, and welcome to Otis Deadwood. Verpine is here, as well as Takahoma Olsen, too. Welcome to the Fifth Element and Elder Grown. Man, Man Array of Hope 23 is here, as well as Trader Monkey and Mindy Joe Nickerson. Who else do we have? Eli Redshirt has arrived, as well as the Fifth Element. Sherry Nelder is here, as well as Scorpius. Looks like the fifth element is talking about bungee cords. Garbled user says Shiva arrives. Lord Malthus celebrates synchro. Strange and unusual is here. Or strange and unusual is here. As they say in chat. So good evening to everyone. Don't worry, they gotta run out of money sometime. <laughs> I don't live in that uh, uh, rich a neighborhood. <laughs> in fact, we're on the lower end of the spectrum here. Fifth Element says, triangulate my position and open the wormhole zombie portal. Burpine says, we can always use another portal to hell. Lord Malthus owns the Berenstain Bears miniatures. I didn't know those existed. J. Mallet says, Yashua said he cannot wait until these evil people open the portals. That way he can throw the enemy into a lake of fire. Johnny Pepperston says, In my home universe, everyone thought the Star Wars prequels were horrible. Now I'm in a universe where everybody likes them. Well, that's a good point, Johnny. I think maybe they're taking a breath out there. But maybe not. Yeah, also Takahama Olsen too. Did not know they had miniatures of the Berenstain Bears. Elder Grown is commenting about how the sun is now more yellow than white. Oh wait, the sun was more yellow than white. Or more white than yellow. I've heard of that, but I'm not sure which one happened first. Okay, now back to the film. Which, do we have that film? Let's hope so. It may come up <laughs> somewhere here. The film taken on the grounds of CERN. And here's what happened in the film. 
The person filming the video appeared to have turned on the camera to film strange movement in the shadows. To his surprise, several cloaked figures walked into the spotlights near the statue of Shiva. Then one young female dropped her cloak, laid it on the ground, while a second cloaked figure pulled out a knife, walked over, and apparently stabbed her in the chest. The person with the camera laughed at first at the absurdity of the scene. Then, breathing heavily, when the knife came out, and finally cursing and panicking once the stabbing took place. The author says, I showed this video to several people. Some felt the person acted authentically. Watch the video and decide for yourself. 